problem is we've got this very invasive, uh, uh, aggressive bacteria that uh, uh, is multiplying rapidly and also produces toxins that inflame and damage the tissues. Uh, this not only damages the tissues, but it impairs the immune system. Uh, what hyperbaric oxygen therapy does, number one, is to, is to force oxygen into areas that are not getting adequate oxygen because of the tissue damage and because of the swelling and, and the toxicity of that area. So we're forcing oxygen in that couldn't otherwise get there. And this uh, uh, basically revives the immune system locally there where the white blood cells can start uh, doing their job. It acts synergistically with the antibiotics. So in other words, the antibiotics work better because uh, of the oxygen. And so the, uh, the chemical reactions that need to occur occur in a, in a proper fashion and the uh, immune system uh, factors that play in with the antibiotics are able to do what they're supposed to do. It uh, is a scary disease. It's very rapid and uh, as you said you can lose limbs as well as your life. Uh, people become overwhelmed with the infection and, and uh, often die of sepsis. The treatment of necrotizing fasciitis or flesh-eating bacteria is uh, surgical, but also antibiotics, and then the hyperbaric oxygen therapy is uh, the third prong that helps to suppress and heal that infection. There's no doubt that hyperbaric oxygen uh, can make a tremendous difference in these cases, and I think in her case in particular, she had just an absolutely marvelous rapid turnaround where uh, she went from being very sick and having a, a terrible infection to uh, having good looking tissue within a couple of days. The treatment's about two hours and we do that twice a day in these emergency cases like the necrotizing fasciitis. Uh, people are put in a chamber, it's like a, a clear uh, plastic tube and uh, because it's clear, we're able to have them watch TV through the tube. And uh, so they've got something to do besides just lay there quietly. And uh, the oxygen just does the trick. It, uh, uh, the oxygen is not topical. It's not absorbed through the skin. It has to be breathed in. And so that's why the whole body has to go into the chamber. And they uh, uh, hyperoxygenate the blood, and that blood gets to the, uh, to the affected tissues.